been a long time. Okay, I'm gonna keep my day job, but it has been a long time. I did not upload any videos last week. I apologize. Last weekend, when I do um, my cooking and filming, um, my mother-in-law was in the hospital, so that kind of and we had some other stuff going on, so I wasn't, I didn't do anything. And then last week, I was out of town for a conference for work. And so, anyway, I'm back at it. I've missed you guys a lot. I have had a awful morning. Um, things are just not going my way this morning, so we're going to make us something sweet and make us feel better. Woke up, it was storming. I had to get out early to take my dog to the groomers. She wasn't even open. She wasn't there. I may have had the date wrong. I don't know. Um, and then I started getting stuff prepped to make this first dessert. And um, I made a mess with pecans. I was chopping pecans. My thing that I keep my pecans in fell off. Pecans are all over the floor. I was shredding stuff. My my box grater fell on the floor, shredded stuff went everywhere, so anyway, my kitchen's a disaster, but we're going to get all this done, and we're going to be happy, and have something sweet to make us feel better, and then we're going to get all this cleaned up, so it's going to be fine. So what I'm making today is, my favorite YouTuber in the world is Miss Lori over at Whipper Wheel Hauler. I can watch her and just watch her. I watch all the videos, you know, when she uploads a new one, I get so excited, but um, I just love her, and she did many moons ago, I don't think it's been a year, six months to a year ago, she did this cookie, and I was like, what? Now, come on, and you'll see what I'm talking about. You may have already seen her video, but it's called a zucchini and sweet potato chocolate chip cookie. What? Can you believe it? Okay. So she made it. She went on and on about how good they are. And I earmarked it in the back of my brain. Um, and did a, and printed off her recipe. Six, five, six, seven, eight months ago. Whenever. And um, it hit me yesterday about those cookies because I had to go buy some sweet potatoes my piggy loves sweet potatoes so I went and bought some sweet potatoes for him as a treat and when I bought those sweet potatoes I was like I'm gonna make those cookies so that's what we're doing today we are doing Miss Lori from Whippoorwill Hollers um, YouTube channel her zucchini and sweet potato chocolate chip cookies I'm so excited about this Okay, so I've got my oven preheating at 350 degrees. I'm going to bring you down. It's kind of like a dump it all, mix it up, spoon it out, and bake it. So that's easy, isn't it? Hardest part was I just went ahead and pre-measured everything and got it set up here. Um, so it would be easy so you didn't have to watch me doing all that jazz. So I'm going to bring you down and we're going to get all this mixed up and we'll do a taste test and I'll let you know how they are. If she says they're good, I have no doubt that they're good. Okay, here we are. We're kind of at a different angle to my mixture mixer. It's usually over this way looking down, but I thought it may be here so you can just see me putting the stuff in. Um, first thing I'm going to add is I have got one and a half cups of all-purpose flour. I've got a half a teaspoon of baking soda, one teaspoon of cinnamon, and a quarter teaspoon of salt. I am going to, um, I'm going to take this off for now. Just sift all this together into the mix, into the mixer. And that baking soda it kind of tends to clump so I kind of just mash that through had some extra in the bowl okay that's the flour next we're going to add a half a cup of melted butter yum yum that's a stick a half a cup is a whole stick Okay, and then we're going to do a half a cup of regular granulated sugar. 
and a half a cup of brown sugar. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on and let that be kind of creaming together. I'm gonna put the shield back on so it. I'm also gonna go ahead and add a one and a half teaspoons of vanilla. And I've got one egg. If you watch my Costco haul, I had gotten some kind of little chocolate dessert. It was like a six or eight pack. And they came in these little glass jars. And of course, I washed them up to reuse them. And I just love them. Okay, and then we've got one cup of oats. This is like the cookie with everything but the kitchen sink. I'll go ahead and give that a mix. Okay, and now we have one cup of sweet potatoes, shredded, grated, however you want to say it. One and a half cups of shredded zucchini. Have you ever in your life heard of this in a cookie? Mm -mm -mm. Get this a blender. Okay, that's got the zucchini has a lot of moisture in it, so that helps the moisture because you really don't have. Um, any liquids in here no meal no oil anything like that okay and then we need one and a half cups of chocolate chips may have gone over just a little bit but that's okay that a turn and then I have a cup of chopped pecans hmm. and that's it let me make sure let me read my recipe back over I've got one and a half cups of all-purpose flour, half a teaspoon of baking soda, a teaspoon of cinnamon, salt, got butter, sugar, brown sugar, vanilla, egg, oats, zucchini, sweet potato, chocolate chips, nuts. She also said that you can add like a half a cup of dried cranberries or raisins. Hmm. Hold, please. Okay. I went and got my cranberries, my dried cranberries, and I can't decide whether I want to put those in, so I'm not going to put them in. That's an optional thing, and um, I think I'm going to forego that. I just don't know. I want to just taste it like this. Maybe next time I make it, I'll put cranberries in it, but I'm not going to do it this time. I'm not going to do it this time. I got scared. Got scared. Okay. My, ooh, I just tasted that. Mmm. Wow. Okay, I'm just kind of scraping down the sides. Mmm. That is good. Okay. I'm just going to put these out on a cookie sheet. And she says to bake them for about 11 to 15 minutes, I think is what she said. The written recipe says 11 minutes. So, I'll start looking at them about 9 minutes. She said these are a chewy cookie, which 
Me like it. It's chewy cookie. Okay, so friends, I am going to finish scooping these out onto my cookie sheet. I will get them in the oven and I'll be back with you after they're baked and we'll do a taste test. I'm so excited. Things are not going well still. Okay, I was getting the second pan of cookies out of the oven and I dropped them so this end kind of got all mushed together. I just I dropped them down on the oven door, but that's okay. These would be for not anybody else to eat. That'll be ours. But I've got them out of the oven. I've got them on a cooling rack. We're gonna let these cool before we dig into them. And my counter space is oh my goodness. Okay, found a place. If y'all could see my kitchen, it's bad, bad. I've got my dishwasher is washing; it's full. I got a sink of dishes. My bar is just covered and stuff. Anyway, we're gonna get all this done, and then it's gonna get a good cleaning. All right, I'm gonna make a second dessert. What? Yes, I am. My husband's been asking for this for a month. And I haven't made it yet, and so we're gonna make it. And the reason why I am like going overboard on making desserts like that is um, we got family coming in town this weekend, and so they will um, not be here for me and Chris to be eating on. I will take them over. They're gonna be staying at my in-laws' house across the street, and so. <laughs> I will take these desserts over there and leave them for them to enjoy and us to enjoy when we're over there. But this isn't just a big dessert fest for me and my love. Okay, I'm going to be making a, it goes by several different names. Um, I call it a blueberry lush. They're called, you make a blueberry delight, a blueberry yum yum. I've heard them called different names. But basically it's a um it's like a cookie bottom like a sandy's um cookie bottom um filled with cream and on top is like cream cheese and cool whip and um then topped with a blueberry compote it's it's delicious it's my husband's favorite dessert and he has been asking for it for a while and I haven't made it. So what I got is a standard casserole dish with a stick of butter in it. And I just left my oven on from the cookies and I'm gonna stick this in there and let the, um, the oven heat melt my butter. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and get my um, pecans chopped up. This is that little thing that I got from um, Tamu that um, has been just so handy to use when you just want to do a quick chop on something. Pieces. And there we have it, chopped pecans. So this will be going into the crust of the pie, the lush. Um, whatever you want to call it. It's basically just the um, butter, flour, and pecans. There's no sugar in it because the topping is so sweet that you're putting on top of the crust. There's no sugar, so it's not like a true cookie crust, but um, it's delicious, and that's his favorite part. He loves that. So I'm going to let the butter melt down, um, and I'm also, I've got my free street dryer on. Sorry, I'm having to pull my pants up. They're falling down. Not because I've lost weight or anything. They're just those stretchy kind of the more, you know, more you wear throughout the day, the looser they get. Um, and I'm going to try to freeze dry some ice cream sandwiches and some Skittles. That's just a test thing for me. Um, but I do have it on with the chamber cooling down and I'm going to get those popped in. Um, and I'll do a video on it when they come out and let you know how it how it does. But in the meantime, I'm waiting on the butter to melt in the oven, and then we'll get started. Stay tuned. I'm just cutting up the ice cream sandwiches and putting them on my freeze dryer tray.
I'm not so sure if these are going to like spiff up or anything, so I'm not overcrowding the tray. some Skittles. The Skittles is really for, um, I'm going to do some more candies for Easter. I figured my little ones will like um, some stuff like this for Easter. I don't know how much they poop up. So I bought two bags, um, 7.2 ounce bags of them. I'm not going to do both bags. I'm going to kind of like spread these out because I'm just not sure how much they're going to poop up. Alright, and into the freeze dryer these will go. And when we come back, we're going to do a taste test of our sweet potato, zucchini, chocolate chip, oatmeal cookies. <laughs> okay, here we go. Honest review of these. This is the first time that this will have touched my tongue except for a little bit of the batter. They're very soft. Oh my. Those are delicious. Okay. I'm not tasting zucchini or sweet potatoes. They taste like a delicious chocolate chip oatmeal pecan cookie. But they're so chewy and gooey and soft these are outstanding and you get a little bit of veg in with it too so it's a healthy cookie that's what we're going to tell people it's a healthy cookie mm. so good you would never know that there's zucchini but i bet the zucchini and the sweet potatoes was what makes them so moist. Miss Lori, hit it out of the park again. Thank you. If you um, haven't tried this recipe, you need to try it. It's so good. My family's going to get a kick out of these too. They'll love them. Mm. I'll link her video down in the description box with her recipe. But it is so good. Okay, our butter is about melted in the casserole dish in the oven. So we're going to get started on that next dessert. Okay, stick of butter, melted. Cup of flour. I'm just going to mix this up in the casserole dish. This is the third cup. I've used all my cup measures. Two. Three. mixed in and we're going to put our chopped nuts it says um, I think it calls for a cup of chopped nuts I'm just making sure all the flour and the pecans are wet with the butter Might not have been the best thing to use. Okay, and then we're going to just press this in. 
the bottom. Casserole dish is hot and the butter's hot, so I'm kind of putting off using my hands to do this. But I guess I won't have to. Don't need to come up the sides or any way, anything like that. It's just a flat bottom crust. There's a piece of Skittle. I don't want that in there. Ooh, hot. Okay, now this is going to go back in the oven and bake. Still 350 degrees and I'm going to let it it's probably going to take about 15-20 minutes maybe more I don't remember I'm going to have to just keep an eye on it but we're going to put that in and let it bake and then we'll be back oh well hold on let me go ahead and put this in then I'm going to show you what we're going to do hot okay I'm going to make the blueberry compote that goes on top I've got about three and a half cups of washed fresh blueberries and I'm going to add about two tablespoons of sugar and just a smidge of water And I'm going to put this on the stove, bring it up to a boil, turn it down to simmer, keep a good stir on it until it all breaks down and it starts to thicken up. Or you can just buy a um, can of blueberry pie filling and do that if you want to make it even easier on yourself. Um, just open up a can of that. That's going to go on top um, when we're all said and done. Okay, so... While that's, the crust is baking off and I got my blueberries on the stove, I'm going to kind of tidy up a little bit and um, we'll be back. Okay, just going to show you the compote. It has been over there boiling away. It's reduced a lot. I tasted it. It's perfectly sweet, as sweet as I want it. And so this is just going to sit out. Um, I'm going to let it cool down and it will thicken up some. So we're on that. The crust is almost done and we're going to get started on the filling here in just a second. Okay. We have got the filling ready to get going and what I've got in the mixer is two blocks of room temperature cream cheese. I've had it sitting out since this morning. It's been out about three or four hours. Um, and then we're going to add two cups of powdered sugar I'll go ahead and put this back down into my container so it don't accidentally spill over and I have a white cloud powdered sugar okay and then we're going to use two teaspoons of vanilla extract and I'm gonna put the shield on here because it's got powdered sugar we know how that goes we're just gonna get this creamed up with the um, sugar scrape down the sides there's some powdered sugar up here on the rim Crust. I've got it 
without cooling. It took about 25 minutes. It took about 25 minutes. Okay, that looks all creamed together good. Get all this out of the whisks. Hold, please. Okay, I wanted to switch attachments. This is like a bread kneading attachment because I'm going to fold in some Cool Whip and that whisk would do it. So I'm using two, um, what is this? Eight ounces of Cool Whip. I love Cool Whip. And of course you can make your own. Some heavy whipping cream. But I'm going for easy. Okay. I'm just going to give this a in it just to get it blended in there. work it and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to set this in the refrigerator to keep it cool while my crust continues to cool down because you don't want to put this on top of a warm crust so my crust needs to be cool and my blueberries need to be cool so I'm going to just set this in my refrigerator until everything's cooled off out here and then we'll get to layering it up okay we are too cool for school because everything's cool. I got my filling out of the refrigerator. I've got my pie crust down here and we're going to start assembling. so good. My husband's going to be excited to know that I made this for him. He did come home a little bit ago and he tasted one of those cookies and he was like, dang, these are so good. He's a man of few words. I mean, he don't really like it. He'll say, oh, it's good, you know, and, but he was, he actually made over the cookies. So that tells me something. Now it tells me something I already knew that they're delicious, but he was really pleased with them.
you can very easily half this recipe and make you know like an eight by eight pan which works out good like I said my I'm taking this over for family probably cut out a big hunk of it for it to stay here for him bowl down. Make sure I get every bit of this goodness. So far, so good. Let me get the blueberries. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to strain them some. Just a smidge too much water. Blueberry Lush, Blueberry Delight, Blueberry Yum Yum. And you can make this with other fruits too. <clears throat> they don't have to be blueberries. Any type of fruit. It'd be delicious. You could do it, you know, lemon flavor, but use like a lemon um, pudding. Um. Strawberry pineapple. It would all be delicious. Okay. And there we have it. Get that little bit off there. Be so happy. So that's all there is to that. I'm going to um, cover it with some plastic wrap, put it in the refrigerator, um, and let it cool, set up good. It will, um, the crust, because it has so much butter in it. But it being in the refrigerator, it will harden even more and make it more crumbly. And that's what we like about it, um, is that hard crust on the bottom. But let me tell you, delicious. All right, so I've got my ice cream sandwiches and my Skittles going in my freeze dryer. It'll be tomorrow, some, some point up. I'm suspecting that those will be done, but I'll I'll show y'all in my next video how those turned out. Super excited. Okay, so there we go. Two desserts down, and I gotta fix my plastic wrap thing. I think it's almost out. Got a new roll. I got this plastic wrap dispenser with the self cutter which I know you can buy them at the grocery store now that's got the self cutter on it but I've had this for probably 
Well, I'll tell you when I bought it. Um, when the Pioneer Woman, she opened up her mercantile store. Um, I bought it from there. Online. I didn't go there. But um, I bought it from there. I got my sister-in-law one for Christmas. And I got me one for Christmas. And one roll of this wrap lasts forever 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 matter of fact i just ordered another roll off of um, amazon maybe about a month ago because i knew this one was getting low but i just love it it's got the um you know the pioneer look to it and anyway that was just and it's lasted it's it's lasted it's probably been four or five years at least that I've had this so there we go got two desserts down um, for the family and for us I got some stuff in the freeze dryer that I'm anxious to see how that turns out and I hope that you um, like what you see if you do give me a thumbs up I invite you to subscribe to my channel um, I do a lot of stuff in my kitchen I do um, we'll be getting it into the garden um, here pretty soon and we'll be doing some gardening we'll be doing some preserving we'll be doing canning um, freezer meals shopping hauls a little bit of everything um, I do the stuff that I enjoy doing and I hope that y'all enjoy seeing it so um, thank you again for being here and I will see you next time God bless and y'all have a wonderful day and check out these recipes they're delicious perfect Easter desserts that's a good idea. These are perfect Easter desserts. Try them for Easter. Mm, love it. Bye.